hi mehak hi kanika hi everyone okay so uh, guys you know that gate is an examination for students to pursue mtech ms me phd from iisc bangalore iits nits triple its and other reputed institutes and various multinational firms shortlist candidates on the basis of gate score so we strongly believe that the best insights about any prospective experience came mm -hmm. from people who have already been through a similar situation who have given gate and uh, their big journeys begin with small steps so this is exactly why we have organized this session so that all the gate aspirants for this year who are attending this session gets valuable feedback from our it alumni i feel very happy to introduce to you mehak obroy so mehak is a gold medalist and is iit madras alumni involved in creating uh, predictive models data governance quality checks and financial report summary for stakeholders through data analysis and finding data business insights key contribution is like due to having a mathematical background in graduation and explored computation analysis in post graduation from iit madras so thank you so much mehak for joining us today your pleasure is all mine yeah you well for and uh, we also we really appreciate it and would like to introduce yourself and uh, share your journey with us uh so everyone who is preparing for gate currently which is in less than 2 months i think right. will be in a lot of stress will also be in a lot of you know anxiety whether you, they'll get a good rank or not they'll qualify or not and often tsus public sector units are also uh, adjoined with gate results uh, mm -hmm. you get various ongc drdo barc various psus you can enter directly through gate result and by giving an interview but the cut off is decided by gate rank which also creates another pressure or of qualifying the exam and getting a good rank which is enough to you know meet the cut off at least so i have been there i have given gate i have been through all the stress levels that you're going through right now and hopefully with your questions and my answers i'll be able to help you guys to make it easier and score better in your exam thanks a lot mehak for such a lovely introduction and sharing your journey with us so uh, we'll just take over the first question by vivo v2147 he's not renamed uh, like as i asked uh, he's saying that how to crack gate exam like often uh, we hear a concern amongst the student regarding what should be the strategy to crack gate so just share something about the strategy here itself so there are two aspects like like i said one is to qualify crack means i think qualify so not everyone who gives gate will qualify because there is a certain cut cut off like passing cut off we have just like that in different exam based on the difficulty level we get every year for each examination we have different cut off so to qualify if your uh, purpose is to get into mtech into you know masters through gate Uh, through gate examination then qualification is enough you don't need to get the top ranks top 100 top under 50 ranks to you know uh, go there so for that is just practice revise your concept even if you have not done the whole syllabus 80% 85% would be enough but practice is key so make sure that you give your previous year examinations to crack it i'm just telling to crack which is you know relatively just if you are familiar with your subject it should be relatively easy to crack it that is just passing the cut off to qualify gate now if you are talking about good rank uh, that will require a lot more effort you have to do 100% syllabus or even more than that you know sometimes new uh, syllabus is added so you don't know where where the question will be coming from where not they will be coming from so yeah you cannot miss a, a subject it is okay if you are good average in certain topics so to balance it out you need to need to be excellent in few percentage and few average and rest should be good so if you are uh, doing that if you are practicing your questions every day it should be relatively easier to get under 500 under 250 rank 
but under 50 and under 100 is another game altogether <laughs> that's fair enough and uh, she's written her name as gayatri so gayatri i hope you got your answer as mehak has just like uh, given you the answer in most simplified way and it must be the question for everyone uh, by everyone actually that how to crack gate and what should be the strategy so she has clearly explained it so coming to the next also part, one, yeah. one more point i would like to add is if you are thinking that gate is you know only who studies the whole year who or who have studied four years two years can crack it it's not the case because there are like you have prepared mix you know average excellent in some topics the questions will be same it's not every question will be hard it's not like that if uh, there will be a mix majority of them will be relatively easy to moderate so that you can actually qualify the paper now uh, time is another key which you have to consider in gate because uh, there are a lot of questions uh, there, there's very less time to actually do it so i would recommend if you want to qualify it you also prepare yourself in the way the gate paper is prepared maximum try to do you know average preparation or above average pre preparation don't worry if you are you know not understanding a topic what you understand you should know it very nicely so that you can actually attempt it exactly and uh, okay so we'll just take up the next question by pradyum kumar he's saying is there any suspicious change in gate 2023 format and syllabus so pradyum right so on gate website they have to announce it uh, one year earlier whoever the institute is what the syllabus will be like it's not like they can drop bombs in you like you know when you are in the examination center it's never like that if there is any new topic that is introduced it gets introduced at the beginning when gate circular is announced uh, it starts early march somewhere so if there is any new syllabus like topic in different stream so it's not necessary that one stream can get a topic so another will also get that topic it's never like that percentage of new topics introduced will be different if some some might not even get new topics so you need to be aware of that Uh, if you are preparing for next year or this year just check the syllabus and bombs gate is never the gate is relatively straightforward net is another case net does drop bombs uh, sometimes they include calculator sometimes they don't include calculator but gate is very professional like that it always works straight great i think pradyum that like solves your problem so go ahead with that and there is just no like i will give an example when i was preparing for gate in yeah. my year suddenly they introduced msq before that msq was not there but they had to introduce in my year they uh, announced it at least 10 months ago at least 10 months ago that okay msq is going to be part of it yeah but i think uh, there have been no suspicious change mm -hmm. as of now as you they said they do give you hints like in my year like i'm saying right they like they can be msq they cannot be msq but we would suggest you to prepare for msq so it was very indicative that there will be msqs in the future and uh, we might be the ones facing them first yeah all the best for that <laughs> for all of the students who have joined here or who are preparing for the same okay so anonymous attendee is here is saying that for excel life science paper pattern tip for scoring and uh, art of paper yeah art of paper and paper pattern tip for scoring remain same for all subjects whether it's life science or not uh, if you are getting a question if you think you can get it at under 2 and 1/2 minutes 2 minutes attempt it if not it's a loss for you you will be sacrificing another easier question that can be done in a shorter period of time often times what we do is oh we just there we just just there to solve it and 10 minutes passed we are still not solving that question instead of that question we could have left it aside move forward not the, got our moral down you know and uh, attempted another question which took lesser time scored more so that is one quest don't get attached to the question don't get emotionally attached oh this is on my ego i have to solve it nobody is seeing it nobody is seeing what question you did. you did easier question or difficult question nobody is seeing that let it be if you are unable to solve it in a given period of time divide the questions and the time period you know that in this amount of time i need to solve these many questions if not i'm moving forward 
so don't get emotionally attached to questions yeah we have to move forward with time time management is also very important i have actually seen this happening to me mm. and my friends you know uh we get attached to it we spend 10 minutes on a question right. and then we suddenly realize where is the time and now rushing up you know making silly mistakes losing other marks did not even see few questions because it because of it because we gave the time to some other question which didn't even solve you know so never get attached yeah and it should not be a habit like to spend time on one question i think time management here is very important it's it's crucial over there if you have prepared well you can get stuck you can lose your once you give so much time and then you start to oh i could not solve that one now maybe this one is tough as well you know right. so you start losing moral as well yeah that's true okay so abhishek wants to know when the gate exam started in india <laughs> i think a simple search would be able to tell that i'm sorry i'm i don't know that <laughs> <laughs> okay rahul priyadarshi is saying good evening ma'am i'm rahul pursuing chemical engineering from bit mestra fourth year we are going to appear in gate 2023 but the problem is that we are not well prepared because we went for placement coding it sectors finally we get placed but ma'am we want whether uh, we want whether we can just get qualify in the attempt because it will boost our confidence so is it possible to qualify exam with cut off marks in just last two months and if it's possible how we going to prepare a very long question many parts attached to it i'll go one i'll try to go one by one and if i forget kanika please tell me that i'm forgetting that sure, part sure, answer sure sure uh, coming to first part whether right now it's placement whether another next year it's job you'll still be doing the job right so it the question will always be like oh my god i'm studying right now oh my god i i uh, focused on my college exams on my placement exams on my job i don't have enough time to prepare for gate and that doesn't mean that you can't prepare for gate ever that doesn't mean you have to take a take a drop with gate i prepared for my college placement i prepared for my semester exam and i also prepared for gate it's all about time management now your time you have this time period till february free necessarily free whether it's break time whether you know college starts slowly you, you can still give time to get revise revise like i said it's not necessary to do the most difficult topic maximum syllabus easy syllabus just revise you must have given your college semester exam revise that syllabus go and appear, appear in gate and don't go as if you you know i know i'm not going to be able to uh, clear this don't go with that mentality then you're working against yourself practice revise the time you have is enough because next year you will have a job job does not give a uh, winter break job does not give time off you'll have to prepare with it and then you, uh, gate will be another story oh i won't be able to do it i'll have to take a drop and all just prepare this is the best time to prepare give your all revise if you want to just qualify just revise your syllabus that's it revision is very much necessary and i think uh, if you were listening 70% of the question paper will be easy will be easy hardly 10 15 20% -20 maximum will be moderate to difficult let it be you go for the easy part that's a great motivation mahak for the students because 70% if they attempt then definitely they will clear through Okay. Yeah, like why? like I said, it's not to get top hundred rank, right? So right. why does it matter? Do the easy questions, do the easy syllabus part, and there's always easy topics that we know. We don't have to do the most difficult topic in our uh, syllabus. Exactly. You know? Okay. So in the next part, I think he asked is, is it possible uh, to qualify exams with cut off marks in just last two months that you answered? And if it's how do they like they should prepare in like these two months any preparation tips would you like to give here? sure like i said right now college exams just went by revise that syllabus that might be 25 20% of your syllabus pick up last semester or whatever topics you like the best uh, pick them up revise them uh, give you know question uh, practice questions on them and then start giving previous year exams you don't have to attempt 100% of the question paper that's what you need to know to qualify 100% of the paper is not your aim you know so 70% be happy with that just keep as much as you can syllabus revise practice you'll be able to uh, qualify gate 
Superb. Rahul and all others, I think this is a great tip. You can just carry forward and take it for your gate 2023 and all the very best. Good evening, ma'am. Such a great session. Thank you, Gulshan. Okay, hello, ma'am. How shall one prepare for gate in order to do PhD? For PhD, uh, so there are two ways to get a PhD in India currently. One is NET, NET NET. Uh, that can be UGC funded or CSIR funded, depending uh, from which stream you are and where, you know, allocation is. That's not necessary. Net is the examination. Another is gate. The problem is that I faced as well. I was net qualified. I was gate qualified, but my gate rank was better than my net rank. So I thought maybe use, you know, my gate rank. But the problem or the feedback that I received, which I would like to share with you guys, Gate is when university funds your PhD. Gate is not when you're funded by central government. University has limited funds. And if that lab does not have fund, that won't be able to fund you. So labs always look for students or people who have net because they don't have to give money to them. Government is giving them money. They don't need to worry about it. They don't need to budget it. So one of the uh, feedback that I got, use your net rank instead of gate rank. And uh, gate is actually not the best way to go into PhD. Gate is generally for MTech or PSUs or yeah, basically that. Uh, and also if you want to show your uh, company that you're equipped enough, well enough, because it's a professional, more professional examination. But net give... Uh, gives you PhD easier, colleges are more, you know, openly waiting for you with open arm than gate. Gate makes things because they, you can understand the dynamics of it, the finance of it. Every lab will get uh, their funding, right? A budget that we say. Now they will have to allocate from that budget to you. What would you like? Somebody else giving you money, right? Not yourself giving them money. So that become if that lab is underfunded they will never take you right so it's all better for uh, prepare for net i would say jrf that's junior research fellowship so if you get net jrf you easily get phd that's a given that you will get phd oh wow and is it easy to uh, crack so syllabus for net and gate is same uh, net has more syllabus but net has options to skip questions more i think out of 120 questions we need to attempt like half, maybe less than half. Like out of 100% question, we need to attempt like 30, 40%. And in that, you need to attempt correct. So net syllabus is all the same. So that's good enough. Like it's easy. Uh, we have a better scoring point over there itself. Yeah. So there uh, you get more questions to choose what you want to attempt, right? Right. right. Uh, so that, that's another ball game. Gate is generally more tougher than net. Okay. You know? Okay, with comparative. And net happens twice, in, twice in a year. So it's more easier for you to improve if you want. It happens every six months. Okay, that's great. You have uh, given a good comparison between both the exams. And uh, for PhDs, uh, guys go for net. Okay, so Mohammad Sharik is saying, will you please tell the important topics for GATE? Okay. Mohammad, that depends on your subject. There are a lot of subjects in GATE. Uh, each subject will have different topics that you need to cater to. So, uh, yeah, won't be able to answer that. Okay, it's okay. I think uh, you must have got the hint and uh, you can start with all the topics. Mm -hmm. Everything is important and 70%, as she said, is already as... And easy uh, not to crack, so go ahead with the same. And it if you want to still do your own analysis, Mohammed, um, look at last 10 years paper, look at what weightage, what question came from what topic, what percentage of that was there, it will become easier for you to crack gate at least in this short period of time, if you don't know what topics are important. Correct. Okay, and who all are eligible for GATE? Rahul Jain is on. DTEC students are eligible for GATE. Uh, BSc students are not. They can give paper, but they cannot do anything of it. 
as in no institute will take them for mtech or psu uh, but master student uh, are eligible for gate so either four years of bachelors or five years bachelors plus masters you can give gate you can give gate any time but it should be useful to you right you can actually use it right that's correct okay so gokul ramana wants to know she's actually a working professional as gt after her be graduation will she be able to crack gate simultaneously with working so what suggestion you have for the working professionals basically just like i said working professional or student this is the time uh, there will always be stuff that you need to cater to whether it's placement whether it's semester exam or it's job so i would recommend divide your day time manage your day do the work do your job you can't leave everything you can't take a drop every time right do the work and then simultaneously with discipline prepare and if you want to crack it like i said 70% of syllabus will be easy and if you're in already in the field you'll you just have to practice then you have to revise and then practice you have studied already just believe in yourself and revise and practice Right. Rahul is saying he is in B Tech third year. Is he eligible? You are eligible to give Gate, uh, but in final year is the year that so Gate is valid for two years. But there's a catch. It's valid for two years, but generally PSUs and uh, institutes keep a cap. Only Gate twenty twenty two, only Gate twenty twenty three students can apply. It's valid. But they give their own cut off. There is a condition there. Right? Yes. So oh. that is not generally the case. Uh, generally, that's the case. But there are few institutes which don't keep any uh, qualification, like only Gate twenty twenty. Like recently, ONGC uh, rolled out cut offs. But Gate twenty twenty one can only apply for those. Gate twenty twenty two can only apply. Twenty twenty three will come next. So. you can give gate in third year but it does not mean that uh it'll be use it will be useful or will not be useful it's valid but useful is another case there is a great trick behind this uh, there are a the lot PSU of tricks in yeah. these uh, exactly <laughs> once you go through them only then you know you know right. that uh, okay these are the uh, false narratives that are fed to us exactly Okay, so that's great that you have shared one more important thing over here on this platform, and uh, like Vivo V two one four seven has an interrelated query. She's also or he's also in B Tech. Uh, I think this is Gitanjali. She's also in third year, and if uh, she think if she qualify Gate Exam twenty twenty three, is it better for to search for a job or to do M Tech? Like which is a better way according to you? So M Tech. um mm, institutes like i said can keep a cut off that only these people can apply but job when you will be sitting in a placement that is next year till then if you have a gate rank it will be it will just look good on your resume it does not give you a guarantee or anything but because your placement will have uh, happen somewhere between november december january maybe and till then feb feb is where gate 2024 will happen so it can give a confidence to your recruiter but nothing definite so give gate i would say give gate in your third year to practice to see where you stand and then try to aim higher okay super pradyum is pradyum is back again he's saying that we always feel anxious in about last moment of the exam in regards of negative markings and may not attempt all the questions and as you were the topper how did you deal with the negative marking very nice question i think uh, pradyum everyone gets anxious i get so anxious that i generally stop studying a day before which is which is not good i would not recommend that uh, but that's just how i work <laughs> uh, yeah so anxious everyone is getting anxious whoever is giving even rank 1 air 1 would be getting anxious they can say oh no 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 i was very chill inside everyone is getting nervous because they have prepared for so many years or months for this examination and a lot can depend upon an examination my suggestion would be don't think about negative marks 
don't think if you are sure first attempt the questions that you are sure about and then attempt the questions you are 50 50 and leave the questions that you don't know that is full gamble just leave them it doesn't matter uh, nobody is scoring 100 out of 100 right uh, in gate history i don't think ever has anyone scored 100 out of 100 that's just not in 90 sure people have scored but not 100 so let it be you you don't need to even score 90 sometimes to get ai under 100 rank uh what was the next part can you could you help me with that yeah and how did you deal with it how did i deal as, as you were I, a proper so definitely they wanted to hear something from i left side. studying a day before even in my jam in uh, when i gave iit jam or i gave gate i generally uh, chill a day before but that's not what i'm recommending that's not the best case scenario but uh, just to calm my nerves down i like to do that so it to like, each their own uh, some people before, study 3 hours before till exam i have seen but, them so but it was still a good result since you cleared gate with such a good rank and uh, you were chilling one day before so i think it is applicable <laughs> yeah because otherwise i would get nervous i in the last right. days we generally feel oh we don't know this oh we don't know that oh i don't exactly. even know this question right. i don't want to put my moral down so some people it happens with some people like me that you know every question that we see we think that oh this is something i can't, i'm not able to do i'm not able to think uh some people are like no 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 i need to solve these many questions and they, and they are able to if you are able to that's very good and if you are unable to just relax because you will do more harm if you get anxious you know you will start thinking negative you will go down a spiral road you can't sleep at night you are you know sleep deprived you sleep in the test or you do silly mistakes don't do that don't I sabotage agree. yourself right so if you are getting anxious you you think your moral is going down leave it just relax i agree with this because it happens for all the exams whichever yeah. exams you are feeling it's a human behavior that you are anxious before the exam but some people are super like have super power they don't feel that somehow you know so it's better if you are like a human human let it be because you will do bad more bad for yourself if you don't sleep if you don't eat if you're not clear headed you know you don't want to make silly mistakes and these things lead to silly mistakes so let it be let it be exactly yeah That's one day can not decide whether you know everything or not what you have studied for so many days for months mm-hmm. that will take you forward right so pradyum pradyum she has cleared your doubt so nicely and uh, how to deal with it i think you must have also got your answer and you must be dealing it in a nice manner i hope so okay shivam is saying thank you so much he's a statistics student okay i can go iit by gate yes uh, mtech yeah, definitely it opens M-tech, up uh, yeah so mtech uh, people get in through gate so that's the examination like j is for btech mtech is uh, gate is for mtech okay and uh, how to prepare for general aptitude questions very nice question actually uh, how to prepare one advice i would give don't focus on general aptitude so much if you start studying for that you leave your subject and general aptitude can't make or break your story it can take you a, a few uh, ranks higher if you are good in it but even if you are bad in it your subject should be your power in a day you can give 15 minutes tricks and tips for general aptitude like counting triangles counting squares so always tricks to these go on youtube 15 minute break just take it as a break don't focus on it like an uh, subject don't do that don't give 2 hours to general aptitude every day you don't need to do that you don't need to do that take it as a break go on youtube general aptitude a lot of tricks are there tricks and trips you know how to make it faster how to attempt it faster 15 20 minutes every day should be more than enough everything should be covered but priority wise 
and yeah. this can be least prioritized right so your syllabus like i said covering your syllabus will be priority these are all cherry on the top okay now i've done everything i can do this Oh, okay, that way is fine. So, Sharik, you, you must have got a very good answer from Mehek. And uh, we'll be just taking over the next question by Sakshi quickly. Is GATE exam compulsory if one wants to go in teaching profession? No, not at all. For teaching profession, uh, there is NET, lecturership LS. Uh, net LS you need to clear. So just like JRF net, it's the same exam. It just depends upon your marks, uh, which one you get. So, or you can specifically, you know, select you want only JRF, you want only LS. LS is lecturership. Now in teaching, you need to have a B.Ed. <laughs> yeah, there and are you need to exams. clear PGT and TGT based exactly. upon which class you want to teach. Gate will not get you that. <laughs> B.Ed, B.L.Ed, various exams are there, Sakshi. You can refer to Shiksha website for the same. You will get many options and uh, much more detailed information over there about teaching profession. And so, for being uh, a lecturer in a private institute, NET, N-E-T, NET is the examination. Okay, fine. Prasanjit Mahata is saying how to crack jam. I mean, how to prepare for this exam. Again, the preparation... Same. Uh, it's same for gate and jam are same the syllabus is different your preparation strategy will remain same gate has general aptitude that's the only difference okay so that's not much of a difference and uh, shiva ma'am can first year master student give net and gate both yes uh first year master students can give both but uh, again, the same thing, uh, whether you can get in or not, it depends upon which year gate you're giving or which year net you're giving and what is the intake. Net, generally, uh, there's no year cutoff. It's valid for two years. You can uh, apply anywhere in that two years because it's generally for PhD, JRF or lecturership. Uh, gate, people, uh, institutes do have cutoff years for that. So maybe you have to give again in your second, final year. Okay. And what rank are eligible for central government jobs? Anonymous attendee wants to know about this. So, uh, PSUs, and I suppose you're asking about that, PSUs. When it depends from which quota you are, but if you're in general, uh, generally ONGC will now, general, like first it used to take under 100 at least for interview or under 60, now it's under 30, under 35, because one after COVID, uh, it got stopped, it got delayed, uh, there's a backlog. Uh, so now they're recruiting less and also oil industry is getting depleted. So ONGC is you know recruiting lesser. Uh, BARC has its own examination as well, where you can give their exam and then best of, you know, uh, their exam and a gate examination, whatever the marks is cut off is, they can take. DRDO also does the same. So it depends, but a good will, will be under 100. Keep a target of under 100 at least for PSUs. Okay. And uh, is artificial intelligence included in gate exam? If not, how do students of particular branch apply for a gate? Pankaja wants to know this. So generally, there are eligibility criteria for every examination. People from different backgrounds can give that gate. Like I came from a master's in chemistry background. So I could have given chemical engineering MTech gate as well. And my own gate, chemistry gate as well. Uh, coming on to artificial intelligence, there's generally... Uh, uh, disciplinary not the core subject but if in the future it does come machine learning and artificial intelligence you can find it on the gate website okay great uh, Pankaj I hope you got your answer and check out the gate website you will get the information much um, like much more details over there Spardium is saying thank you so much this will surely make my expectation up to the mark okay great Pradyum and all the very best Okay, and uh, Mohammad Sharik is back. He wanted to know about the difference between GATE, Excel, and IIT Jam. Which exam will be easy to crack? 
IIT Jam and Gate is for different purposes for different periods in your life. Jam is for masters. If you are preparing for masters in sciences generally, and Gate is for M Tech for PSUs. Uh, like I said, Gate can only be given by B Tech people, either graduation of four years or who have masters like five years of education before giving it, like that's BSc plus MSc, that's five years. JAM is for masters, to appear for masters. BTEC people can also give that, but BTEC to masters, I don't think it makes most of much sense. Okay, you have very well covered the difference and it's very much clear now. What is your job present? Vivo for V2147 wanted to know if you are comfortable, share it, otherwise it's fine. Because it's a public platform. Well, when Vivo mm. can't even share its name, I don't think I, I'll be <laughs> comfortable sharing <laughs> my details. Yeah, it's okay. And anonymous attendee wants to know how many marks are required to enter into IIT or GNU for MSc in life science. Any idea? Uh, so I, if you're doing life science MSc, I suppose you're giving jam, not gate. Um, for IIT JAM, it depends from stream to stream and uh, every institute like in Delhi University, you have your percentage cutoff, they have their rank cutoff. Uh, so it depends what rank, but generally a good rank, the confirmed rank would be uh, under 400, under 300, you'll get IIT. Okay, that's good enough. So guys, I have uh, just launched a poll over here. I would request you all to please rate and accordingly wherein on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 is uh, you are highly satisfied. So uh, quickly just give your rankings, Dinesh, Pradyum, Abhishek, anonymous attendee, whosoever has joined this session, Rahul, Gulshan, everyone. Okay, so we'll just like take up another question which was posted on Shiksha website asking about the opportunities after gate exam? I think I've already covered mostly uh, MTech and PSUs are the options, but it's also a good indicator that you have cleared uh, a national level exam. Many foreign universities do require national university exams at your level, so it's always a good indicator. And job recruiters get a confidence, certain kind of confidence, or you're familiar with your concepts. You know, you are uh, you have cleared a professional exam with a good rank, so it all, it always comes in handy. Okay, and what is the latest gate question paper pattern? Mahek? I think uh, right now general aptitude MCQ MSQ, uh, new NAT numericals are going on. So all these type of questions okay. comes in uh, gate exam with okay. calculator. So there's a calculator also present. Right. Uh, yeah. Okay, Rahul, I hope you got your answer. I would request you to please give your uh, poll opinion quickly. We will just take up another thing about the foreign opportunities through GATE, as many students were interested to know about the opportunities internationally. So if you want to study outside of India, it's generally a good, you have to write a statement of purpose. Uh, most of the universities require that. That's called SOP. Uh, it's generally a good practice if you cleared national exams in India. Uh, it's also weighted over there. And GATE has a very reputable uh, national score, like universal school score. So many universities do, you know, uh, weight it in, in your application that oh this person has cleared gate with such and such percentile such core and rank so there's a certain confidence in that like i said it's always good to have it uh, for university international universities as well few professors few okay. uh, teachers are very familiar with gate and what's happening in india so they might directly take you just based on your gate score okay and what are the books one should refer to for gate preparation? That depends from subject to subject. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So just like uh, we'll come up uh, to the last question. I think most of the questions have been sorted and you have cleared the complete 
details about gate over here. What are the mistakes one should avoid in order to get one? You have already said in the starting that 70% of the easiest part should be attempted. But other than that, any mistakes that uh, would you prefer one should avoid in order to get a double digit rank in gate 2023? Yes. So one major is silly mistakes. You know the question. Once you come back home, you solved it correctly. But in the paper, you have given a wrong answer. You know, in silly mistakes, it can also happen that uh, in question, it was asked, give the numerical in two digits and you gave just in one point decimal. Uh, but it asked in two decimals, right? If it's 100, give 100.00. Read the question twice. That's where we make most mistakes. You know, sometimes we take nine instead of six in numerical. Sometimes we think that, oh, this was us and we read something else. Uh, read the question twice. Don't try it. Like, try not to make silly mistakes. These are the silly mistakes, you know, that happen when you're anxious, when you're high on adrenaline that, oh, I read this and actually the question asked me this. I wasn't able to understand what the question was asking. I knew it. But I could not understand. So avoid silly mistakes. That's one thing. Avoid silly. Okay. That's another point you have shared about avoiding silly mistakes. And it's for overall all the exams. I it's always the case. It's always, it's always you know, case. no matter what, you'll always make it. But try to minimize it as much as possible. Okay. I uh, will be quickly taking up the last three questions being posted. Ma'am, is it possible to cover at least 50% of syllabus in two months? If yes. Please give top strategies. Shreya, she has been sharing top strategies. Sure, it's yeah. possible. You just give your college exams, right? You have done a few years of your either B.Tech or your, you know, J.E. preparation or whatever. It's almost the same. Revise. You have the notes already. Just revise it. So nothing is impossible. I've seen people clearing these kind of exams in two months, three months. It's always possible. Clearing is different and scoring, uh, you know, the highest is different. So I'm always saying clearing and cracking, not that you'll get top ranks. But it's always easy to clear and crack. It. Exactly. That's uh, another motivational uh, point that have been shared by you, Fajraya, and all other students who are here in the session. Mohammed Sharik is again back. He's saying best resources to prepare for GATE. Excel. There are a lot of resources. One is Shiksha itself. Others, there are a lot of uh, coachings. There are a lot of online platforms. See, every subject will have a different expert in it. You need to find out where whom you understand. There can be 10 good teachers, but you might only be able to grasp concept of one or two. So you need to find out who that teacher or who that you know platform is for you. That research you have to do on your own. There's no ready-made dish, you know, because every student understands <laughs> differently. Most can be bucketed, but yeah, you you one might understand one teacher completely, and another student might be scratching their head, oh, what is this guy? That's a superb example you have compared it to. Obviously, there is nothing uh, cooked already for you. You have to do it yourself to achieve something. So right. you, if I tell you, oh, this is a brilliant teacher, you know, the, everyone understands and you're not able to understand. Either you will think that I was lying or you will think that this teacher is, you know, a fraud or something. But he <laughs> might be a good teacher. It's exactly. just you and his frequency is not matching and you're not able to understand it. Hmm. Superb. Uh, you have explained it again uh, very well, I think. And one should make a habit of adjusting and trying to understand what the other person's perspective is all about and should try to get the things easily if just like in yes. methods. Okay. So uh, Rahul Jain is saying for mechanical engineering. Rahul, like, uh, can you just clear up what do you want to ask about mechanics? Uh, okay, for eligibility for uh, GATE. Uh, third year, if you're in your B.Tech, third year, give it just for trial to, you know, better yourself. You can give it any year. You can even give it if you're in 12th class. Eligibility is only when you can use it. You know, they let you enter the examination hall because when you're filling a form, you're actually giving them money to fill it, right? They need it. They, that's why they let everyone appear in it. But they can only, uh, they'll only let 
few people who are eligible as in the sense final year of their btech use it or final year in their msc masters use it so yeah you can give it uh, for practice anytime okay rahul is saying mehak ma'am you can give me your notes for gate exam <laughs> are you from chemistry background i'll surely give it to you if you are from chemistry <laughs> otherwise i don't think it will make much sense to you yeah this much information rahul will work out for you go ahead with the same you will be able to like you will definitely crack it you don't require any notes just prepare your own notes whatever is just taught in the class that's very important and and frankly in the market all notes are available but you want to be able okay. to understand because you are, you have not written it right you can mm -hmm. read it but writing it yourself writing makes you understand more you are writing it in your own words in your own language that you understand and in your own handwriting right so that registers more in your brain so one person might have written in their own you know way that they understand mm -hmm. another will right. write it in their own way it doesn't mean you will understand it it right. doesn't mean you you'll <laughs> memorize it or something so always make your own concepts teacher will mm -hmm. teach but you need to make your own shortcuts own concepts right okay and uh, i think they should practice on their own itself that's only it's always um, tailor made yeah. it's never that you know if somebody okay last year stopper if you take the notes does is not a guarantee that you will be a topper is not even a guarantee that you will crack it you know because that top topper wrote it in their own language that they understood they knew what they know best and they don't know which they want to work more in which they want to understand more and what is easier to them so they focus differently doesn't mean that it's the same for you okay he saying thanks for your best suggestion rahul okay thank you rahul for taking this suggestion <laughs> and harini is saying ma'am what are the marks to be scored in je to get admission into nits or iits i mean i am i have no clue i never gave je i'm not the best person to ask i was never into engineering i always knew that engineering is not for me i knew sciences is for me that's why i opted for bsc and then msc uh, from iit so uh, sorry about that no worries uh, harini you can refer to shiksha website once again you will get the information and i'll be sharing my email id also here in the chat if you want any uh, help regarding the updates or next upcoming webinars related to your domain or uh, maybe jw will definitely help you out and check shiksha website or uh, je website you will get the information i there. think je is so famous like upsc in our country that anything that you type you'll easily get it on the web website you know uh, on google even on shiksha so just search it yeah super okay and uh, we have one more last question anonymous attendee is saying yes from excel chemistry okay he is from chemistry background but still but, you can <laughs> take but from excel right i i can give you my notes there's nothing like you know secretive in it uh, but again that's not a guarantee of anything So don't come after me. <laughs> exactly, and anonymous attendee saying thanks to you. We'll be getting a recording of the session. Yes, anonymous attendee, like a recording of the session definitely will not be given, but it will be published on YouTube very soon, and you will be getting the link. You can refer to the link, and you can just uh, check out whatever has been discussed in this session. It will be helpful. Have you given the poll? Uh, anonymous attendee how will you receive if you are anonymous even if kanika <laughs> was sharing this with you right you are still anonymous you are still not getting it <laughs> <laughs> yeah definitely i have asked in the starting of the session only to rename but still so I'm some people uh, i i sometimes it's the case that you know you don't want your peers to know that you are preparing or you are attending mm. sessions That yeah. used to happen uh, in my batch as well. So people were very secretive. Few of them might be because <laughs> of that, you know, anonymous. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to disclose that they're actually preparing or something. Sometimes okay. it's the case. Sometimes it's not. Yeah, they want to hide things, but it's okay. The <laughs> results come for everyone, and I think it's more or less the same. Okay. Uh, so I have shared my email ID for your help. and i think you can just write back a mail to me if you want 
uh the youtube link i'll be definitely sharing it with all of you but still if it is not received since the name is not visible so you can reach up to me and ask me for the link it will be displayed uh next week yeah itself can you give me your contact number rahul we are really sorry this is a, a public platform here in no number sharing can be done and uh, if you have any contact if you have any problems any queries you can just mark a mail to me and uh, we'll get it uh, rectified or we'll get it sorted. i think in this day and age email would be faster than a whatsapp message <laughs> because yeah we reply to emails faster than whatsapp message yeah. in the professional world guys right okay mehak so we'll just take up the last question and finish it up the session here itself since we are running short of time just two minutes left to close the session one last question from mohammad sharik what will be our fate after master from iit Oh my God, this is, uh, I, I am not an astrologer, sorry to tell you guys, I even don't know my fate, how can I tell you guys your own fate, but if you uh, have a target, if you have your own goal, and if you want to achieve it, you make your own path, uh, gate is not the end of the world, gate is not, you know, it can make you things, uh, bring you, uh, bring things closer to you, but it doesn't mean that it will give you the goal that you want. Uh, you have to create it on your own. That's a very good ending. So I would just like to close the session here itself. And thank you so much, Mehak, for coming over and delivering the information that was required by all the aspirants over here. And uh, I would just like you all to thanks once again who have come here and who has just made made the most out of it from this session. We hope to see you all in the next session, guys. And thanks a lot once again to our panel. Thank you everyone for joining and having such interesting questions. Uh, yeah. I always have so much fun answering them. Thank you, Kanika, for having me. You're welcome, dear. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.